The question is as follows. Mr. Poliev, appuyé. Mr. Poliev, seconded by Mr. Shipley, moved that given that the government has announced a temporary three-year pause to the federal carbon tax on home heating oil, the House call on the government to extend that pause to all forms of home heating. La période de 10 minutes pour les députés votants. The 10-minute period for members voting electronically has started, and the House will now proceed to the vote for members participating in person. All those in favor of the motion will please rise. Mr. Poitier. Mr. Schmeel. Mr. Schmeel. Mr. Ellis. Mr. Ellis. Mr. Perkins. Mr. Perkins. Mrs. Thomas. Mrs. Thomas. Mr. Dental. Mr. Dental. Mrs. Stubbs. Mrs. Stubbs. Mr. Polus. Mr. Polus. Mr. Shear. Mr. Shear. Mr. Upal. Mr. Upal. Ms. Lansman. Ms. Lansman. Mr. Halan. Mr. Halan. Ms. Lewis Haldeman Norfolk. Ms. Lewis Haldeman Norfolk. Mr. Barrett. Mr. Barrett. Mrs. Gray. Mrs. Gray. Mr. Barlow. Mr. Barlow. Mr. Kelly. Mr. Kelly. Mr. Baldinelli. Mr. Baldinelli. Mr. Cooper. Mr. Cooper. Mr. Lewis Essex. Mr. Lewis Essex. Mr. Jenis. Mr. Jenis. Mr. Small. Mr. Small. Mr. Bazan. Mr. Bazan. Mr. Richards. Mr. Richards. Mr. Duncan Stormont Dundas South Glengarry. Mr. Duncan Stormont Dundas South Glengarry. Mr. Beltud. Mr. Beltud. Mr. Workington. Mr. Workington. Ms. Finley. Ms. Finley. Mr. Chong. Mr. Chong. Mr. Abutayef. Mr. Abutayef. Mrs. Cousy. Mrs. Cousy. Mr. Seaback. Mr. Seaback. Ms. Ferrari. Ms. Ferrari. Mrs. Block. Mrs. Block. M Stewart. Mr. Stewart. Mr. Stewart. Mr. Davidson. Mr. Davidson. Mr. Doherty. Mr. Doherty. Mr. McCauley Edmonton West. Mr. McCauley Edmonton West. Mr. Lloyd. Mr. Lloyd. Mr. Aitchison. Mr. Aitchison. Mr. Brassal. Mr. Brassal. Mrs. Vecchio. Mrs. Vecchio. Mr. Brock. Mr. Brock. Mr. Lawrence. Mr. Lawrence. Mrs. Roberts. Mrs. Roberts. Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams. Mr. Malello. Uh, Mr. Tucker. Mr. Me. Tucker. Mr. Chambers. Mr. Chambers. Mrs. Cramp Nyman. Mrs. Cramp Nyman. Mr. Zimmer. Mr. Zimmer. Mr. Patzer. Mr. Patzer. Mr. Lobb. Mr. Lobb. Mr. Kitchen. Mr. Kitchen. Mr. Muse. Mr. Muse. Mr. Redekop. Mr. Redekop. Mr. Van Popta. Mr. Van Popta. Mr. Waugh. Mr. Waugh. Mr. Steinley. Mr. Steinley. Mr. Calkins. Mr. Calkins. Ms. Rude. Ms. Rude. Mr. Leu. Mr. Leu. Mr. Genereux. Mr. Genereux. Mr. Genereux. Mr. Genereux. Mr. Morantz. Mr. Morantz. Mr. Mazur. Mr. Major. Ms. Falk Battlefords Lloyd Minster. Mrs. Falk Battlefords Lloyd Minster. Mr. Martel. Mr. Martel. Mr. Gould. Mr. Gould. Mr. Kirk. Mr. Kirk. Mrs. Gallant. Mrs. Gallant. Mr. Caputo. Mr. Caputo. Mr. Vidal. Mr. Vidal. Mr. Drieschen. Mr. Drieschen. Mrs. Ms. Rempel Garner. Ms. Rempel Garner. Mr. Cram. Mr. Cram. Mr. Tolmy. Mr. Tolmy. Mrs. Wagenthal. Mrs. Wagenthal. Mr. Epp. Mr. Epp. Mr. Bragdon. Mr. Bragdon. Mr. Allison. Mr. Allison. Uh, Mr. Dalton. Mr. Dalton. Mr. Nader. Mr. Nader. Mr. Soroka. Mr. Soroka. Mr. McLean. Mr. McLean. Mr. Shipley. Mr. Shipley. Mr. McGuire. Mr. McGuire. Mr. Shields. Mr. Shields. Mr. Falk Provencher. Mr. Falk Provencher. Mr. Motts. Mr. Motts. Mr. Williamson. Mr. Williamson. Mr. Arnold. Mr. Arnold. Mr. Dantremont. Mr. Dantremont. Mr. Morrison. Mr. Morrison. Mr. Dowdle. Mr. Dowdle. Mr. Weber. Mr. Weber. Mr. Lake. Mr. Lake. Mr. Vierson. Mr. Vierson. Mr. Fast. Mr. Fast. Mr. Canna. Mr. Canna. Mr. Leslie. Mr. Leslie. Mr. Majumdar. Mr. Majumdar. Mr. Julian. Mr. Julian. Mr. Massey. Mr. Massey. Mr. Garrison. Mr. Garrison. Mr. Cannings. Mr. Cannings. Ms. Barron. Ms. Barron. Ms. Zarillo. Ms. Zarillo. Mr. Angus. Mr. Angus. Ms. Matheson. Ms. Matheson. Ms. McPherson. Ms. McPherson. Mr. Blakey. Mr. Blakey. Mr. Vaughn. Mr. Vaughn. Kutusur qui s'oppose. All those opposed to the motion will please rise. Ms. Gould. Mr. Blair. Mr. Blair. Mr. O'Regan. Mr. O'Regan. Ms. Ng. Ms. Ng. Mr. Champagne. Mr. Champagne. Ms. Anand. Ms. Anand. Mr. Fraser. Mr. Fraser. Mr. Boisson. Mr. Boisson. Mr. Verani. Mr. Verani. Ms. Sachs. Ms. Sachs. Ms. Suds. Ms. Suds. Ms. Bennett. Ms. Bennett. Ms. Chager. Ms. Chager. Mr. McKay. Mr. McKay. Ms. Scro. Ms. Crow. Mr. McGinty. Mr. McGinty. Mr. Scarpaleggia. Mr. Scarpaleggia. Mr. Casey. Mr. Casey. Ms. Cara. Ms. Cara. Madame Saint-Onge. Madame Saint-Onge. Ms. Haidu. Ms. Haidu. Mr. McKinnon Gatineau. Mr. McKinnon Gatineau. Ms. Jasek. Ms. Jasek. Madame Fortier. Madame Fortier. Madame Lalonde. Madame Lalonde. 
Mr. Garrison. Garrison. Mr. Garrison. Mr. Lamover. Mr. Lamover. Madame Ben Dayen. Madame Ben Dayen. Mr. Fragascatos. Mr. Fragascatos. Mr. Bittel. Mr. Bittel. Mr. Brucen. Mr. Brucen. Mr. Van Coeverden. Mr. Van Coeverden. Mr. Kuzmarachek. Mr. Kuzmarachek. Ms. Dillon. Ms. Dillon. Mr. El Curie. Uh, Mr. Uh, Assassi. Mr. Assassi. Mr. El Curie. Mr. El Curie. Mr. Fonseca. Mr. Fonseca. Mr. Hardy. Mr. Hardy. Mr. Cedar Brampton East. Mr. Cedar Brampton East. Mr. Badaway. Mr. Badaway. Mr. Sousa. Mr. Sousa. Mr. Maloney. Mr. Maloney. Mr. Sarai. Mr. Sarai. Mr. Kellaway. Mr. Kellaway. Ms. Vandenbelt. Ms. Vandenbelt. Mr. Sanson. Mr. Sanson. Mr. Seri. Mr. Seri. Madam Kutrakis. Madam Kutrakis. Mr. May Cambridge. Mr. May Cambridge. Mr. Johari. Mr. Johari. Mr. Long. Mr. Long. Mr. Longfield. Mr. McDonald Avalon. <laughs> Mr. Morrissey. Mr. Morrissey. Ms. Hefner. Ms. Hefner. Ms. Cedar Brampton South. Ms. Cedar Brampton South. Mr. Sorbera. Mr. Sorbera. Mrs. Said. Mrs. Said. Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers. Ms. Yip. Ms. Yip. Madame Mendez. Madame Mendez. Mr. Louis Kitchener Conestoga. Mr. Louis Kitchener Conestoga. Mr. Van Bynan. Mr. Van Bynan. Mr. Ali. Mr. Ali. Mr. Ms. Bradford. Ms. Bradford. Madame Chatel. Madame Chatel. Madame Lapointe. Madame Lapointe. Mr. McDonald Malpec. Mr. McDonald Malpec. Mr. Meow. Mr. Meow. Ms. Taylor Roy. Ms. Taylor Roy. Ms. Thompson. Ms. Thompson. Mr. Terrien. Monsieur Terrien. Monsieur Simard. Monsieur Simard. Monsieur Bergeron. Monsieur Bergeron. Monsieur Garon. Monsieur Garon. Madame Michaud. Madame Michaud. Ma Monsieur Fortin. Monsieur Fortin. Monsieur Villemur. Monsieur Villemur. Monsieur Thériault. Monsieur Thériault. Madame Larouche. Madame Larouche. Monsieur Perron. Monsieur Perron. Monsieur Barcelot Duval. Monsieur Barcelot Duval. Ma Madame Berubé. Madame Berubé. Monsieur Désilé. Monsieur Désilé. La chambre attendra. The House will now wait for the electronic voting period to end before resuming its proceedings.
Je désire informer la Chambre que la période... Si euh, des députés... Dont... If members were unable to vote due to technical difficulties, they can use the raise hand function and the chair will recognize them. Le bureau. The table will now compile the results of the vote. Yeas pour 135, 135. Nays contre 186, 186. Je déclare la motion. I declare the motion defeated. <laughs> Je rec... Sur un appel au règlement. Rising on a point of order. Order, I recognize the Honorable uh, House Leader. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We just had a very important vote to Canadians. And the member from Avalon literally gave the finger to those Canadians as he stood to vote uh, for our motion which was to give them a break and a reprieve on home heating costs. He gave the finger to the senior choosing between heating and eating. He gave the finger to all those struggling to make ends meet in an unaffordable Canada. He gave the finger to all Canadians watching. If, if, if I could ask the Getting close to debate, but I see the honourable member uh, rising. Uh, uh, I'm assuming in response to the point of order. The honourable member. Yes, Mr. Speaker, I will rise on the same point of order. I scratched the side of my head with two fingers. So if they think it's one finger, that's up to them. They can take it how they like. from the opposition. That is very unusual to scratch the side of your head with your middle finger as you are voting. And this is the second time I have had to rise in this place when a member from the government party has used that Mark. finger motion. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I, We are, we are now, colleagues, so I'm going to ask you to take, both take your seats, please, please. I'm going to ask both of you to take your seats, please. Colleagues, we uh, had a point of order uh, raising a very serious issue in terms of comportment, decorum and respect in this House. It was raised by, uh, by the Honourable Member. The member to whom it was directed at uh, rose and indicated that uh, he, this was uh, uh, not uh, done uh, on purpose. I'm in a, I'm placed in a very difficult situation here. If, if, if honourable colleagues uh, will allow me to take a look at this issue, but let me just say this. When members are often off offered an opportunity uh, to explain their actions, and they do, usually the matter is closed. This, is, this has raised some disorder in the House. I will take a look at that, and if necessary, I will come back to the House. But I hope uh, that this will be the end of the points of order on this particular issue. The Honourable Member from South Shore, uh, St. Margaret's, are you rising on the same point of order? Is that a point of clarification or point on There is point no of point of clarification. As a witness. Uh, there, uh, I, I, so I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask the Honourable Member, I just indicated uh, to all members of this House that I'm going to take this issue, I'm going to take a look at uh, the videotape and I will come back to members if it's necessary. North is this Peterborough South. is North Island uh, Peterborough South? Is this on the same point of issue? The chief whip of our party so I'm just should gonna, be given I'm, the appropriate time to give the full merit to the situation. Uh, as I, is so, 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 I'm going to uh, let members know. I heard the point that was raised uh, by the honourable member. As it's a point that is uh, very serious. The honourable member who had concerned rose uh, to offer an explanation. I am going to review the videotape on this and come back to the House if this is necessary.
the Honorable uh, Member from Gatineau and uh, Chief Government Whip. On the different point of order, Mr. Speaker, uh, I would put it to you that during votes, the cat calls and the very oppressive screaming from the other sides the, is, is, is an intimidating and bullying tactic by members of the opposition to all members of, of uh, this. So, I'm going to ask. That uh, strikes me as being uh, on the same issue and the same matter, which I have already explained to this House what I'm going to be doing on this. So if there is no related point of order on this, I'm going to suggest that we move on to, uh, to the business of the House. But I recognize the member, and I hope you uh, heard my, uh, my, my statement. I'll recognize a member from uh, Battle Creek, uh, 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 Grand Prix. sorry, Battle River, Crowfoot. Grand Prix, Mackenzie. Or, pardon me, you. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I think that if you look throughout the standing orders, you see very clearly that it is at, that when concerns are brought forward in this House, specifically when the Chief Opposition Whip brings forward a concern, Mr. Speaker, that it is absolutely essential and incumbent upon the Chair to ensure that, that she, in this case, she is heard in its entirety, as the evidence being presented is key to ensuring that, that, that we can perform our parliamentary duties in this place. So, Mr. Speaker, to not allow the Chief Opposition Whip to finish her statement regarding something that whether the governing or other parties like it or not, it is incumbent upon the chair to ensure that the chief opposition whip Let me assure uh, all members that I understood uh, very clearly the substance of what was raised and the act that was raised, and I had offered the member uh, who was accused of making that act an opportunity to explain to the House, present uh, his apologies. The member uh, made an explanation. I am going to take this matter back. I, there is no re more reason for us to be able to dispute this matter aside from holding up the affairs of this House. I'm trying to make sure that we conduct this way. But let me reassure all members that I take all of their interventions very carefully. But there is, to this point, I, not, I have not heard a new point of order which is being raised. The Honourable. Uh, 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 Member, Grand forgive Prairie me, Mackenzie. from Grand Prairie, Mackenzie. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I think it's important for us to consider what has just happened. In this House, we had a member, the Chief Opposition Whip, that brought forward a very compelling, it's, there's vi video evidence there, to prove... So... Okay, okay, I'm going to, I'm going... Excuse, 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 excuse me. Excuse me, all members, I'm going to ask... Especially the leadership, I'm going to ask uh, all members, please. Fair enough point from uh, the member from uh, uh, Central uh, uh, Notre Dame, uh, Costa Bay Central Notre Dame. I'm going to ask the uh, honourable member from Grand Prairie, Mackenzie, to get right to the point so that we can move on with the affairs of the House. The point is, Mr. Speaker, you have made a great effort in your public comments to state that you want to bring decorum to this House. That is fundamentally undermined though in the way in which this whole thing has un un unraveled. The Chief Opposition Whip was unable to express the evidence that was being put before you. The member from the Liberal Party stood up and said he was innocent while still indicating his he, you know, the, the gesture that he used, and then, Mr. Speaker, you, you, it was only after multiple other interventions before you said that you would take it back. Mr. Speaker, I believe that it undermines the public statements that you've made with regards to bringing decorum to this House. I cannot, uh, I, I, I'm certainly, uh, I'm sorry, I regret that the member feels this way. But I'm f I feel, as this chair, is that I heard the point that was raised by the chief uh, whip of the opposition. It was an important point. The point was very well made. I wanted to hear if there are any new points to there. There were no new points which were raised to this. I have asked the honourable member uh, to rise in this house. The member offered his excuse. I 
had indicated to all members, based on what was raised by the Honourable Chief, uh, 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 the Honourable Whip of the Opposition, that I'm going to take a look at this matter and bring, come back to the House if it is necessary to do so. I'm, I'm hoping that the, the member from Amir Mishi uh, is rising on an issue, uh, a new point of order. Because if it is on the same one, I think I've heard enough that we should move on to the next uh, item of the House. Mr. Speaker, it is a new point of order. Myself, many of our colleagues, and many of the people at home continue to ask the same question. Why is the volume being turned down so much by the Speaker? Can you explain why that's happening so often? Thank you. This was... Because the chair is standing up, but I'm going to, I'm going to allow the member to. Okay, I'm going to ask the honourable member. So, so this is the reason why uh, microphones are sometimes turned off, is to preserve the honour of this house when there's conversations which are happening back and forth without uh, people having the floor for that. No one, I can guarantee, no member has ever been cut off in terms of making their presentation, posing a question or making an answer, with the exception of the time when the Speaker has brought up. This matter has been brought up, uh, and we've, the House leaders and I have talked about this issue, and the issue is being addressed. The Honourable Member from, uh, from Miramichi, Grand Lake, uh, Grand Lake uh, Thank on a new you, matter, Speaker, I would hope. A point of clarification on the point of order. Canadians are feeling like their members of Parliament are being subjected to the microphone being turned off right in the point where they're making points of order and points of clarification. That is something that we're entitled to as members of the House. It's happening on this side more often than not. We don't like to be cut off. If it's debate, fine. If, it's, if you don't agree that it's a point of order, that's fine. But we still have the right to be heard and the microphone needs to be left on when we're speaking. On the same point of order, the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary, and I hope Mr. the Parliamentary like Secretary you, will come straight to the point. Like you, I've been very patient listening to, to commentaries. You, a while back, very clearly established that you had already received enough information to make some sort of a ruling pending on you taking a review of the situation. Members continue to stand up, which is a challenge of the ruling that you've put uh, as a speaker, Mr. Uh, Mr. Speaker. I would suggest to you that uh, people just tone down and allow the speaker to do his job. So that is, uh, uh, that is not a point of order. I think we finished with all of the uh, matters which are raised right now. I had promised members I will come back to them on the original issue which was raised. Je désire informer. I would like to inform the House that due to the deferred recorded division, government orders will be extended by 12 minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. I see that there are uh, two members who have their hands up. I see the honourable member from Sandwich Gulf Islands. Uh, Mr. Speaker, thank you. I, I'm rising briefly on a point of order because I believe the point of order made by the honourable member from Gatineau may have been missed in the furor over other issues. Uh, being a virtual participant, uh, it's very distressing when during votes there's so much heckling, and that was the point raised. It was not anything to do with anything we observed, anything visual, but uh, auditory interruptions in the voting process are uh, against the standing orders. And I just wanted to rise briefly to support the member from the honourable member from Gatineau, and perhaps you might come back to that question of decorum to remind us of the rules. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I see that there is another honourable member who would like to uh, rise on a point of order. However, I do not see the headset uh, nor a, a tie on the member. Uh, I do know that the, if the member does have a headset, it would be very helpful because I'm certain if the member is rising on a point of order, uh, he would like to make sure that the translators can translate their, uh, his comments.
we will uh, come back to that member uh, if that member is able to uh, put on uh, his head headset. Uh, more than welcome to rise and raise his hand, and the speaker or the chair occupant will uh, recognize that person on the point of order. Oh, the honourable member from uh, Battle River Crowfoot on a new point of order. Yes, Mr. Speaker, on a new point of order. Um, the, there is a member of parliament that was, uh, uh, had brought, was called out the other day for just an absolutely inflammatory, inflammatory uh, tweet. But uh, uh, what's interesting is that further, the member for Fleetwood Port Kells uh, has this habit of not only taking pictures uh, of things that are taking place within this place, but in his Twitter feed is very clearly uh, doing what he calls the fibble meter and, and, and tweeting that uh, and calling members live and uh, to talking about untruths in his Twitter feed. So, Mr. Speaker, certainly when a member is in this place, uh, we expect them to abide by the rules of decorum. The member for Fleetwood Port Kells has acknowledged that uh, he, he I, th I, I believe he used the words, when he puts his elbows up, uh, his guard can come down. So, Mr. Speaker, I would ask that you take a look at the evidence, uh, specifically this, this member's Twitter feed, and how he is so flagrantly disregarding the rules of order and decorum in this House, and is bringing ultimately disorder and in this tweet that was posted uh, seven minutes ago he is using specifically language that is unparliamentary and Mr. Speaker has been doing so from the floor of this place. I thank the honourable member from uh, Battle River Crowfoot for raising this issue. It's an important issue uh, that the me member is raising. However, uh, there are limits to what the speaker can do. Uh, There's enough to do in policing what happens in this place and at committees in, in terms of the exercise of our parliamentary duties uh, to be able to monitor all members' uh, social media feeds. Uh, will, uh, it, it is difficult to do that. I do know that uh, it was raised on one issue and invited the honourable member to withdraw uh, his comment. The member was present and did so. Uh, the member, uh, I cannot do that right now. Um, but uh, I thank the Honourable Member for that. This is a good opportunity, once again, to encourage all members to rise to the level that is befitting of the chairs and of the, the jobs that they hold in this place, uh, to conduct themselves accordingly. And I think that is an important uh, reminder for all of us uh, so that we can conduct ourselves in a way that we will be proud to have done, it's important for everyone to behave with dignity that reflects the positions we all occupy here in the House of Commons. I'd like to thank all members for their interventions today. 